What's going on YouTube? This is Silver here from SNN Tech and today is March 16th. My pre-order came through and I've got my hands on the new iPad which some refer to as the iPad 3 but we're going to call it by its proper name and I'm going to do a comparison video so we're going to compare it to the iPad 2 and see whether or not the Earth Grade upgrade was worth it or maybe you should skip on it. Now before I jump into the, into the comparison of the iPad 2, I want to show off the hardware and the internals of the new iPad. Now if you have an iPad 2 or have seen it before, you can see that the design in the body is very identical. It's almost impossible to tell a difference unless you can see the model number within the settings. But in the front you have your front facing camera, standard Apple home button for an iPad, same placement of the speaker at the lower left. Let me zoom that out for you. The lower left of the device, or lower right when you turn it from the back. Your volume rockers, same place as always. Your orientation lock and hold, same spot. Your power button, and your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Apple logo. This is a 16 gig Wi-Fi model. Didn't get the LTE version because I don't plan on paying any extra for data on my cellular service. Anyhow, this new iPad, same same 9.7 inch display, but this time you get a retina display with double the resolution. The resolution on the i the new iPad is 24 8 by 1536. And you also get an increase since the resolution is doubled. You also get an increase in the pixels per inch at 264 pixels per inch. And the I the new iPad supposedly has uh fingerprint resistant coating but that was the same as last year and after a while fingerprints tend to get on the iPad anyway so take that for what you will obviously the iPad is being getting a lot of hype and it's famous for its A5X chip now most people say it's a quad core chip that is false it's still the same dual core chip and the GPU paired with it is a quad core GPU Apple don't specify or give you any details all they just tell you is just a quad, quad core graphics so you know take that for what you will I try to do some research into finding out the exact model number of the GPU to use can't be found at least not at this very moment until I fix it to do a tear down and tell you about that they also decided to give you a boost in RAM last year's model had 512 the new iPad has a gig they also upgraded decided to upgrade the Bluetooth protocol in which the iPad transports data at and instead of using Bluetooth 2.1 which most devices use now it's Bluetooth 4.0 and I'll when I get the comparison I'll, I'll explain the difference between 2.1 and 4.0 another prop that they are uh, boosting off the iPad is its camera it has the eyesight camera found in the iPhone 4s but instead of being 8 megapixel this is a 5 megapixel camera its features are autofocus tap to autofocus that's really nothing new but you know it's a highlight and since the software has been upgraded to iOS 5.1, you have multiple face detection. So if you're snapping a photo and you have three people in a photo, it can detect each head and I guess get nice, clear, focused shots on those heads. And being the, that the camera is eyesight and upgraded, you can also do 1080p video at 30 frames per second as opposed to last year's 720p 30 frames per second. So let me get, let me go ahead and, uh, turn the display on and I don't know if you can detect how vivid and clear this this retina display looks but you can definitely see the difference once you compare it to an iPad 2 when you look very hard you can see little pixels or pixelation in the iPad 2 now off glance you're not gonna see it especially when you compare but when you start zooming in you're definitely gonna see the difference and supposedly this is better than your ACTV so take that for what you will and that's a marketing scheme that Apple is going off of but take that for what you will so now let me bring out the iPad 2 and go into comparison now I have here both the iPad new and the iPad 2 can you really tell the difference I didn't think so to your left it's not this is my iPad 2 to your right, this is the new iPad. 
Now I'm gonna get as closely as possible as I can get to the camera and try to show you the difference between the retina display and the old display. I'm gonna block my password. And I'm gonna try my best to show you if you can really see a difference. Here's the iPad 2. And here's the new iPad. I'm not even 100% sure and I'm really down that the camera is really picking up the difference in the display but all you can really do at this point is take my word for it or just scroll into a Best Buy and do a comparison for yourself now right now look at the dimensions on the side how these two devices look side by side virtually the same. You can really tell almost no difference at all. Turn it to the other side. Ugh. You go in the front and in the back. So it's almost virtually impossible really just by looking at them to tell the difference between is this an iPad 2 or is this an iPad 3. So I'm going to do a little comparison test with the chip to see which chip is faster or if the A5X lives up to its name or is it just being overhyped by Apple. Now I have three games that we're going to run that test with and see if the A5X is actually faster and looks better than the regular A5. Alright, so my iPad 2 is jailbroken, obviously the new one's not. So we're going to start with Sprinkle. I'm going to hit him at the same time, and I'm going to see which game loads first. On the count of three. Three, two, one. And it looks like the iPad 2 loaded a lot slower than the new iPad. Well, not, not, not even a lot. That's an exaggeration. It was slightly slower. Supposedly, Apple reports with iOS 5.1, you have better audio, and it sounds slightly louder. So, once again, I don't think I can pick that up on a camera, or you can really tell the difference unless you hear it in person. But I, I can agree with Apple on that one. The new iPad does sound slightly louder with the audio. As far as the clarity goes, you're going to have to plug in headphones and kind of tell the difference because there's really no real, real difference there. Now, we're going to go to Infinity Blade. And to make sure Infinity Blade is not already running, I'm going to double click the bar and see if I have a game of Infinity Blade running either. No, so they're both going to load fresh. Alright, on the count of three. Three, two, one. And once again, the new iPad is slightly faster. It's not a, a dramatic difference, but more of a split second here kind of thing. You know, I got the brightness. Now I got the brightness all the way up, so the, you know to kind of to see what displays looks brighter. And to my best of my ability, the iPad new looks slightly brighter. You know, a little slight upgrade. Now I'm gonna go back to the game to show you the graphics, see how it looks. And the new iPad seemed to restart it completely, while the iPad 2 just continued where it left off last. But the colors look a little bit more darker, more in depth. You can see a little bit more blacks. And it looks a little bit sharper on a new iPad. Slightly lighter and less saturated on an iPad 2. But once again, if you have an iPad 2, you're not going to really be burning for the difference unless you're really looking for those kind of differences. It's not going to really just, oh my god, like you look in the comparison to, like, let's say, a Samsung TV to a lower end brand like an Olivia or a Vizio. And the last game. I'm going to compare Jetpack. Once again, I'm going to count to three, and I'm going to try to push them at the same time. See how it loads. I'm going to count to three. Three, two, one. I guess not to my surprise, the new iPad beats out the iPad 2. Let's see who finished loading. Both still loading. 
Wow, and surprisingly enough, the freaking uh, iPad 2 beat it to the touchy you at a play screen. Maybe because this is the first time I run off the game, open it, open faint or select game sensor. I don't have any game sensors running on that. But that's kind of weird, but let's see what happens here. I'm gonna touch anywhere to continue. Oh yeah, definitely. I can. I can definitely see the slightly graphical improvement in the new iPad. So. That's my little comparison of the two right now. As far as the camera is concerned, I snapped a couple, I snapped at least one picture on both cameras and I'm gonna actually post right now. I'm gonna show you the difference between the iPad 2 and the new iPad. And I'm gonna show you the video as of right now. Yeah, so I'm giving you a little quick test of the video on the new iPad. Just a little clip just to show you the quality. It's my uh, review camera there, the Canon 60D EOS. Probably going to throw a review of that very soon, but yeah, just to show you how the video quality looks. Now, it's a little bit ashy and noisy because I guess I'm indoors and I don't have Now, to being that the new iPad comes with iOS 5.1, you probably won't have the advantage of jailbreaking and getting free apps if you're into that kind of thing. If you're paying for everything legit, you should have no issues there. And also coming with 5.1, you do have the, the new camera. Since it's not the iPhone, you don't have the camera on a lock screen. The camera button is not there, simply. I thought it would be, but unfortunately it's not. But you get the new and improved camera app. If you go on the camera, I'll show you right now. You have the snap picture button here. And you have the grid app at the bottom but other than that pretty much same old camera app with the iPhone also I failed to mention the weight you can definitely feel an improvement or no, I wouldn't even say that's improvement you can feel that it weighs more the, I, the new iPad weighs at 1.44 pounds and last year model the iPad 2 weighs at 1.33 pounds so I mean, you're going to feel it, but it's, it's not a deal breaker or nothing to cause any alarms. And, it, and it's slightly thicker, too. So if you buy an, an iPad 2 case, more, more than likely you should have no issues fitting a case for your iPad 2. So you can just transfer a case right over. Matter of fact, I have a case right here. I'm going to just toss on really quick and show you what it looks like. And I'm just going to just throw this on here really quick. And voila, same case I have for my iPad 2, fits in the new iPad, no issues at all. Fits right in there, so you don't have to really worry about buying any new cases to fit the slightly thicker, it just, it just, it fits. So, you have an iPad 2 and you're looking to upgrade, no problem with your case, you don't have to get a new case. Now, it's optional if you want to, but it's not mandatory.